Hi, this is Tammy with IVS Computer Technology. Today we're looking at how Smart Notebook 11's new Smart Ink feature integrates with Elmo's ImageMate software. Elmo's ImageMate software is your way of displaying an image from underneath your Elmo document camera on your computer. This allows you to annotate over top of that image. The focus of today's video tutorial is how we can integrate Smart's pens over top of that Elmo document camera image. When you install or update to Smart Notebook 11, Smart Ink is going to install automatically. Smart Ink is going to take place of the digital ink layer you may have seen in previous versions of Smart Notebook software, allowing you to annotate over programs and applications outside of Smart Notebook software. Currently, ImageMate and Smart Ink works a little bit different than other applications, so I'm going to offer you two solutions for integrating Smart Pens with your Elmo image. First, we'll look at how to integrate Smart Pens with a live image. And we do that by first opening a Smart Notebook software file, and this can be a newer existing file. Within the Smart Notebook software toolbar, we're looking for view screens. The icon looks like a monitor with a magnifying glass. And we'll select the second option, transparent background. This is going to take our entire Smart Notebook interface and make it transparent, but we'll still have access to a Smart Notebook toolbar. I'll show you that in just a moment. Next, we're going to launch ImageMate software. This is going to allow us to view a live image from underneath your document camera. We can then pick up a pen and begin annotating over top of that image. So let's take a look at what that would look like, how we can annotate over top of a live image. We first want to open or launch a Smart Notebook file. I'm just going to go to a blank page using the Add Page icon. It's a piece of paper with a plus, just so I have nothing else on my screen when I go into transparent mode. We'll then select View Screens, the icon that looks like a blue monitor with the magnifying glass, and select the second option, Transparent Background. When that's selected, our Smart Notebook interface is going to be transparent. We then have this movable toolbar. We'll then launch ImageMate software. The icon on your desktop looks like an uppercase IM, and selecting that is going to give you a live image. I'm just going to move this toolbar out of the way by the top bar so I can access that Maximize icon in the top right corner of my Live Image window. This is going to make my Live Image fill the screen. From here, I can select a tool out of my pen tray or using my Smart Slate, and then I can begin annotating over top of that image. To leave this interface, we can do so by selecting the Transparent Background icon in the toolbar, and that brings us back to our regular Smart Notebook software interface. So this is one way we can annotate over top of an image. We're generally going to do this with a live image using ImageMate software, selecting that transparent background option within view screens. However, there's another way to annotate over top of an image. We're going to save that image to our computer first. To start, we'll open ImageMate software to get that live image from underneath the document camera. Just the image if you need to, and we're selecting the Save As icon that appears in the ImageMate software toolbar. The Save As window is going to appear where you're going to select where you'd like that file to be saved, and then you will select the Save button. This saves the image to your computer, so you're going to then double-click the image to launch it. And once that image has been opened, you can pick up a pen and annotate over top of it. So let's take a look at saving that image and annotating over top of the saved image. We're going to go to ImageMate software, and again, we do that by navigating to our desktop and selecting the image mate icon. But you'll see that I already have mine launched, so I'll go to my live image and select that maximize icon so I can view the entire page. We'll make any adjustments to that page that we need to. And then the, the toolbar, it's kind of hidden down at the bottom, but once I hover it, it comes back. We're selecting save as. The icon looks like a disk with a pencil on top of it. In the save as window, I can call this whatever I'd like save it to a location. Generally, I put this in documents within a folder, but I'll put this on my desktop just so I can find it more easily again in a moment. And I'll select Save. This takes this image. It's no longer a live image, but instead, it's an image saved to my desktop, and here it is. So to access or write on top of that, I'm going to double-click it. It's going to launch in whatever my default photo viewer is. And then I can pick up my pens from the pen tray or using my slate and begin annotating. And we're using that Smart Ink toolbar to annotate over top of that. 
So now you have two ways of annotating over top of an image. We can either go into transparent mode or capture that image and save it to your computer. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me and join us on Facebook for more video tutorials. Thank you very much and have a great day.